CNN stole my video, the one where I spent three months of my life giving snakes their legs back. CNN posted it to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, every single official CNN account. Did they ask for permission? No. Did they link to me? No. The only link goes to CNN.com, the digital equivalent of doing a diarrhea in an empty can of beans. Now normally I wouldn't care, but do you know how much money CNN made last year? Two billion dollars. Do you know how much money I made last year? Not that much. Look at this chart I made. I don't even get a single pixel here. So I shared my concerns online and people brought to my attention that the news is protected by fair use. According to them, CNN and any other news network can use whatever content they need to keep people informed. Which I guess makes sense because it's not like a random person on the internet can just become a news network. All I need to become the news is to report on stories. Hello? The plan is simple. Make the greatest news portfolio in the world, which will allow me to use whatever content I need to keep people informed. My first story is about ice cream. How delicious is it? Today we're gonna find out. I look like an idiot. No one's gonna respect me if I look like this. A, a real journalist probably wouldn't have used a blue popsicle. Like it's all over my face. They would have used like a like red or, or like a flesh colored popsicle of some kind. I, clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's why I'm getting a job at CNN. Hey there, excuse me. Uh, can I get a job here? Oh, uh... They said no because I don't have a degree in journalism or any experience in journalism. But you know, I've been rejected worse before. I'm actually glad. I'm glad that CNN rejected me because I got to see their fancy office building and their big news vans. And now I know what I'm missing, a sense of legitimacy. All I need is a van, a camera, a camera person, a laptop, a satellite, a, a notepad, uh, a pen, maybe some paper clips, um, that, that, that tape that you only see in offices, and a name, Canadian United Media. If I look like a legitimate news network, then I'm going to feel like a legitimate news network. I am a journalist. I drive a news van. I am the news. Showing up to stories in my big boss news van gave me a sense of legitimacy I never experienced in my stupid Prius. It turns out all I was missing was confidence. So I decided to test my new powers at the movie theater. Alan Pan here, reporting on the epidemic of movie piracy sweeping the nation. Movies that could be pirated include the latest for more discovery, Black Adam. It's working. The fair use is really working. Look, look at it. This it's this is the actual movie. Now you're informed and you don't even have to buy a ticket. I spent the next seven days driving around Los Angeles reporting on as many stories as I possibly could. Why is my news car so big? It's cause I need to fit all of the news inside of here. Excuse me, I'm with Canadian United Media. I was wondering if you guys had any thoughts on the economy. <laughs> Let's see how the website is looking. I've got three articles. I spent $500 in gas for this. And that's when I realized that journalism is a huge waste of time. <laughs> well, because I, I, I'm trying too hard. When CNN fair used my video, they just deleted my audio and replaced it with music and captions. And they didn't really change anything. You don't even need a human to do that. Like, I bet you could just automate that entire process. So I found a woman online willing to work for exposure and she created an AI journalist that scrapes all of the headlines from the CNN front page and uses those headlines to generate original articles. Katy Perry explains her eye twitch moment as a party trick. Tesla robot solely walks on stage. Neat? Nope. Spirit Halloween CEO lists some of the most popular costumes this year. The Christmas bunny costume with a Christmas tree. A rabbit that could be babies with an orange nose and no tail. A Halloween bunny that is just like yourself. A Halloween bunny that looks good. A Halloween bunny that is fun, an alien, and an ode to all things holiday. This thing is a much better writer than I am. It's already written over 5,000 articles. I am the greatest journalist of all time. 
Breaking news! I, I still have bills and CNN hasn't paid me yet. So I want to thank the sponsor of this news report, Established Titles. With Established Titles, you can become a real lord or lady by buying a dedication to one square foot plot of land in Scotland. It makes a great last minute gift, especially for millennials, because this is the closest they're ever gonna get to owning land. This is my editor, Audrey, and she's really hard to shop for, because as a child, she had a pet hermit crab that was eaten by a Scottish terrier, and she's had mixed feelings about Scotland ever since. So now, she's a lady of Scotland. Here you go, here you go, Merry Christmas. I guarantee that if you haven't had success online dating, it's because you didn't have the title of Lord. And now you can put it in your dating profile with established titles. And the first 200 people to sign up using the link below will get a plot number next to mine. And that way we together can build the Canadian United Media Kingdom. Established Titles plants a tree with every order and they work with One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. Established Titles is actually running a Black Friday sale right now and if you use this code, you'll get an additional 10% off. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash breaking news to get your gifts today and help support the news. In one day, I was able to accomplish what took a thousand journalists a thousand lifetimes. My portfolio is now the same size as the entirety of CNN. All I have to do now is interleave original articles with the AI generated ones so that no one can question my legitimacy. Also, I need people to read the articles. No one is visiting my website. I just need one big news story to generate clicks. And lucky for me, the Emmys are in town. Okay, so Ali. And then up. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, thank you. Me and my camera woman were able to get into the Emmys with no issue, which makes sense considering the only difference between CNN and CUM is a U and an M. This is actual, real, legitimate reporter Alan Pan coming to you live from just outside the 74th Annual Primetime Emmy Awards. Only problem is there are multiple sections of the venue, and we're stuck in the outer ring with unrecognizable D list celebrities and people hired to fill seats. Finding interesting stories amongst a pool of Hollywood's second rate celebrities was proving difficult. Uh, can I ask you about the Warner Discovery merger and recently how they, they, no, oh, 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 that's okay, that's okay. Wondering if I could get your take on uh, the Warner Discovery canceling Batgirl. <laughs> For some reason, I couldn't get anyone to agree to an interview. Do people not trust mainstream news anymore? Luckily, I was able to find someone who had no idea what news even was. I grew up without television, so I, you, ne I never had access to that. Yeah. You grew up without television. Yeah. You should really look up what the Emmys is about. It sounds like a good place for me to start. <laughs> but I was too scared to push farther into the event because my printer was running out of ink and my press pass looks really bad. I want to report the news, not go to jail. I am so ashamed of myself. Lizzo was right there, like a hundred feet away, and I, I chickened out. I, we, we left without interviewing any real celebrities. I have nothing. Things weren't looking good for my mental health or my CUM. Uh, alright, the AI probably should not report on celebrity deaths. So I decided to call my friend Sarah Palin for some advice. Hey Sarah, you got a sec? Hey. Liberal friend Alan. I'm just feeling really down. I'm trying to make my own news company and I feel like I'm just screwing up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, good, Alan. And uh, if you want me to put in a good word for you, you get a gig here? I certainly will. Wow, thanks. Actually, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> hey, I'm doing another news story. Can I just get the usual? Something very interesting happened this week. I got an email from CNN. Good morning, Mr. Pan. CNN Digital saw all the Twitter commentary and would like to offer you $1,000 to formally license your snake robot invention video. Now I could take the $1,000 or I could sue CNN for $2 billion, but there's something else that I want that's worth way more to me than $2 billion. So I cashed my check and used the money to buy the Mythbusters trademark, which had been abandoned during the Discovery and Warner Brothers merger. Look it up, trademark office, Mythbusters abandoned. It is no more. They cannot use this anymore. Anyways, it's mine now. I own Mythbusters now. I am Mythbusters now.
for apparel. You see, Discovery can still make their little Mythbusters television show and sell their Mythbusters books and smoke their Mythbusters crack, but for apparel? Mythbusters apparel? I am now the sole person allowed to sell Mythbusters trademark merchandise. Which has been a long time coming, because seven years ago, I was next in line to become one of the television Mythbusters, until Discovery fired me. Discovery took my dream away, CNN stole my video, and they both spit in my face. And now that they're the same company, I've decided to use all the power and resources of my CUM to take back what's mine. I'm going to start selling Mythbusters merchandise, which is 100% legal because I own the trademark, and there is nothing that anybody can do to stop me. Let me introduce you to CNN.legal, my new merch store where I sell Mythbusters merchandise 100% legally because have I mentioned, I own the Mythbusters trademark. I'm not joking, I actually do own it now. We've got fantastic t-shirts like this walrus wearing a beret that is feeling good busting made from 100% cotton or something like that. You can't prove me wrong, I'm a mother busting Mythbuster. Or this lovely 100% pure asbestos Canadian United Media t-shirt. This is the shirt I make all my employees wear. We've even got a snake lover shirt and it's for snake lovers only. The cool thing about this design is it was actually fan art that somebody tweeted at me and then I paid them for a license to use their work. It's funny how easy it was to do. So if you like clothing that's nice, new, and legal, head over to my new merch store, cnn.legal. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to just keep that up. I, I might get a cease and desist this week. So pre-order these shirts like now while you can. From Canadian United Media, this is Alan Pan signing off. You stay classy, San Diego.